Hello again, I'm Melanie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you one of the oldest tricks in art. Just ask Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> Today's video will show you how to enlarge an image from a method that was used all the way back in the 1400s. Yes, by Leonardo da Vinci and lots of other artists. In fact, it could be even older than that. What do you need? You need a pencil, you need an eraser and a sharpener, but you also need a gridded image you might be able to see it better overhead. And a gridded piece of cardboard. Well, I'm using cardboard. You can use a piece of paper or a canvas, whatever you like. Um, it will work on any of those, but they must be gridded. And I have a video you can check out about how to grid. And if you already know how to grid, you can keep going. The key to transferring image from one place to another using a grid is really all about breaking it down to one square at a time. So we have one inch squares on our image and we have two inch squares on our canvas today. We are going to concentrate on one square at a time. The reason that we break it down into one square at a time is so that your brain doesn't become overwhelmed. When you break it down into just line, that's much easier to work with. You could take the square at the very top and then go all the way down, and I suppose we could do that. So I'm going to move this square over just like that. And that means we're using this square right here. So you can see that there's some dark area and I don't care what it is. I don't care what the image is in this tiny little square. All I care about is line. And yeah, actually all I care about is line right now. I can use shadow and all of that later. And I can use that just by looking at it. I don't have to draw that out. So we're going to start in the corner. So we're going to go up here. Hoping you can see this okay. And we're going to go all the way down to about here. It doesn't have to be perfect by any means. And this line angles down. So it angles down to about here. So I'm going to angle it like that. And then there's another line here. And again, it doesn't have to be exactly like the one in the picture. Okay, so that's, that's good enough for that. And then here, it's better if you don't even identify it. Because once you identify it, your brain will think, oh, I don't know how to draw that. Okay, so this line right here is in the middle. All right, so I have that shape. And then there's lines. And I can put those in or not. And here, that's where that... There's another one that comes over, overlaps. And there's the line for that. 